Hey guys, welcome to our series on the Durban International Film Festival. We've got a lot of... Is anyone even watching this? Well, if you are, this is what's in store. We'll be interviewing some big, big stars in the industry. Check it out. Hi, this is Professor Chonyakaya from the film Tsotsi, now doing State of Violence at the Durban 31st Film Festival. Um, and you're watching Koza TV. Hey, but that's not all. We've also thrown in some great interviews with the festival organizers to find out what's involved in setting up South Africa's biggest film festival. We're also taking a sneak peek at a few of the films. From surf films... ...to the spicy-flavored Attack of the Indian Werewolf. Attack of the Indian Werewolf! Yeah, that's what I said. Anyways, here's Nashen Mudli. He's one of the masterminds behind the festival. There's been a great buzz. People seem to be very excited about the festival. So uh, we're good to go. That's good to know. But let's hear about the challenges involved from the festival director himself. You know, film selection uh, comes quite late and after the film selection happens, it's like a bottleneck. Then becomes the implementation side and all the planning. Probably one of the challenges of a festival like this is how do you get to watch so many films? There's 200 films, you've only got 12 days. The opening night slot was given to Carlo Matabane's latest work, State of Violence. The film is about a man who becomes the CEO of a mining company and uh, his wife gets killed and um, he goes in search of a killer and he finds himself. Well, I think I've lost the plot here. But it sounds exciting, Carlo. Let's find out what the lead actor had to say. The process itself was, was crazy. The script was crazy. So, the, you know, the whole thing is just, I think it's going to turn out to be quite a blast. I know most people want to see me as Totsi, you know, because that's what I'm known for. Uh, but it's totally different this time. I play a different character. It's more calm. And um, even with the township, when we're shooting the locations, people were very friendly and they welcomed us. And I mean, it's, it's very different, it's unique it's in its own sense and it, it has a lot to teach to people. It's a story of forgiveness and redemption and uh, South Africa then and South Africa now. And how are the Academy Awards? Being there, it was just like so surreal and stuff. <laughs> One moment you feel like you actually want to pinch yourself a bit. As a boy on the streets, crime was a way of life. Another star that we ran into on opening night was Jafta Mamabolo of the epic 2008 film Gangster's Paradise, Jerusalem. We're in Durban right now shooting a film called Othello Burning. Um, it's basically uh, derived on the history of the first black surfers in South Africa. If you look there quickly, my co-star Thomas Kimoto got injured while surfing. Hey Tom, actually it was a shark attack. <laughs> okay, I was bitten by a shark attack during the sardine run. Yeah, right. I also thought, you know, that uh, death is on, so why not come through, support, um, you know, Carlo, everyone else that's putting their films out there, you know, just to say we got your back, so let's do this. And speaking of Jerusalem, guess who we ran into at the Royal Hotel in Durban during a festival acting workshop? None other than Rapulana Sepemo, the Issa Dingo and Generation star who portrayed Jafta's grown-up character in Jerusalem. A man, really is a small world. How do you win the war? Many people approach, uh, approach uh, uh, acting in different ways. Uh, uh, I'm not, I, I, you know, I'm not a, a support of method acting. There is no way that, just because my character, my character in Jerusalem, I kill someone, I'm really like a crazy man. I'm going to kill, you know, I just want to kill everything. Then kill, uh, kill this person, I'm like, it didn't feel <laughs> Go kill somebody else. No. <laughs> After getting his attention, he told us why he loves the festival. Okay, what do you want? Okay. What do you want me to oh no, Devon Film Festival. I mean it's very important honestly because uh, number one it showcases the works that we do as filmmakers, as producers, as actors, and they celebrate that and not only that, they acknowledge the fact that we have the capacity to produce and great work. A beautiful story well told is, is, is what makes a film to endure over many years to come. So it, it is good to see some storytelling really growing in South African films. We 
we've been associated with the Durban Film Festival for over 20 years. It's a great platform to premiere the films in the festival and to get the word of mouth behind it. Uh, we had a film called uh, The White Ribbon that got the Golden Globe uh, Award that we bought early this year and we decided to hold it until the Durban Film Festival premiere it here on Sunday and do two other screenings and we're releasing it at cinemas next Friday. Mühe ich mich euch Gottes Wort nahe zu bringen und euch in seinem Geiste zu verantwortungsvollen Menschen zu formen. Verzeihen Sie, Herr Vater. Bitte verzeihen Sie. The Durban International Film Festival is the largest running festival in the country. And it's not in Joburg, it's not in Cape Town, it's something that we in Durban can be proud of. We have something too. I'm just very happy that it's evolving and it still has a long life. I would have been very sad if it had ended when I stopped the festival. So it's like a heritage. And that wraps up our first episode on the 31st Durban International Film Festival. Catch the premiere of Attack of the Indian Werewolf filmed in Durban in our next episode. That's all from me, Ted Chipola. Until next time. Okay. Come on, Superintendent. You know what happened here.